Hello ladies and gentlemen, Sigvalo Grimm here and as you have seen, I have got this thing from the Sorade Rewards. So in this video we're going to kind of talk about this thing and uh, test it out and then try to come to a conclusion and try to decide if this is the best, because it might be the best defensive artifact that we have. And we're going to kind of compare it with the Firebox, the Entropy and a little bit the Lexcorp because those are very uh, three very strong defensive artifacts that we already got in the game. Lexcorp a little bit less because Lexcorp also has the damage side that's pretty damn important. Uh, and uh, yeah, so this thing is going to, keep in mind, it's a level 1, so at level 10 it will perform far better. When blocking incoming specials you're going to gain a shield equal to 110 uh, capacity of the wearer's health for 10 seconds. And that capacity is pretty damn high at level 1. For example, you got the reverse flash who's got 40k health, and you get hit, and uh, you get uh, uh, 44k shield. That's, that's already pretty damn amazing. Uh, the shield uh, degrades over time, transforming 5% of its max capacity into uh, wearer's health every second. So, uh, even though you get shield after blocking the ability, which would suck normally, because that's pretty much what the Cosmic Staff does. It gives you a shield after you have received damage. This thing, it doesn't give you something that's going to necessarily reduce the, the further incoming damage. It gives you that, which is the shield that's going to shield you from further damage. And at the same time, it is going to convert that into some health over time. And at the same time, the um, uh, some of the uh, damage that is absorbed by the shield, if you get hit again while the shield is active, is going to be reflected back to the opponent. So you don't take damage because you got a shield up and the opponent is going to take all the damage back. This is kind of a combination between uh, the uh, Cosmic Staff, the uh, Nightmare Batman passive, and at the same time a little bit, quite a lot actually, of healing mixed in there. So this artifact also already looks pretty damn good. Let's go ahead and give it a try and then we'll talk about it in comparison with the Firebox, the Entropy and the Lexcorp. Keep in mind, except for the start of this fight, at the very least those fights are not played in order to win, but are played to uh, test the... Uh, uh, artifact at its max, max potential. It's going to be on reverse flash, of course. And yeah, the start I'm kind of playing to win, but then I'll I'll come to realize that no, we actually we actually have the priority of testing the artifact. And again, uh, the, okay, here it triggered. We got a shield and we got some healing. Keep in mind, over here I'm just testing the raw artifact. I don't have any any metahuman artifacts because there's a few things about this artifact. The metahuman artifacts are going to increase your healing so they are going to tremendously boost the effectiveness of this as you'll see in a future fight. And at the same time you need to keep in mind that Black Manta and Heart of Darkness are going to be hard counters to this because Black Manta is going to um, deny the ability of healing and Heart of Darkness is going to actually steal your healing so you need to keep this in mind for Arena and the Champions Arena. For Raisin Stories that doesn't matter at all. But yeah, the damage that we deal is pretty damn huge already. Uh, though, the thing is you only receive the shield if you block the ability, which is a mechanic that I actually like. This, uh, instead of uh, being good only when you do dump plays, is going to not be good when you are dumped, but at the same time reward you for playing it smart. And this flash stays for a very long time at uh, max health, it seems. Over there we got hit by the uh, Aquaman special 2. So we didn't get the shield, obviously. Now we're going to block the special 2. There we go, we got the shield and we start healing. Again, this is just the raw level 1 healing. No no metahuman artifacts equipped and it's just a level 1 artifact. And as you can imagine, at higher level it will be far better. Okay, at, at this point, uh, again, I'm not trying to win this. I'm trying to on purpose make Dark Side hit me. And as you can see, this I don't think I've even hit this king. He, he pretty much killed himself by using abilities on me. And now we're going to wrap it up with Dark Side. And yeah, for this fight, uh, I mean, uh, I haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen this fight yet because what I did over here, I have two metahuman artifacts uh, on uh, John Stewart Green Lantern and Lone Shazam. And from this point on over here, I put, I placed my phone because I'm playing on the PC. I got my block button on the space bar. And what I did, uh, I placed the phone on the spacebar and I went ahead and left the room in order to take a shit because I really need to take a shit. And I was really curious if this thing would win me the fight uh, without even having to play something again. Well, this is recorded. Uh, I, I'm, I have the emulator turned on PC. 
I get the block on space, and there's the phone who's holding the space bar down, and uh, let's see if I can actually win a match by using this artifact while taking a shit. Though what you need to know is the fact that uh, we got uh, two metahuman artifacts on uh, Joe Zero Green Lantern and Shazam, they're level 7 and 6, so they will boost the healing quite a bit. And we're not fighting the best team in the world, I mean even this team was 1.2 million threats. 1.5 million shot, excuse me, but yeah, it's it's kind of the ideal team for this, but yeah. Yet again, still not playing this one bit, and keep in mind, in order to win a fight in Arena by the uh, timeout, the way you do that is that in total you should uh, have dealt more damage to the enemy than the enemy has dealt to you. So if we win this, it not only means that it's going to protect us, it's going, it means that it's going to even deal more damage to the enemy than uh, it's protecting us, which is actually great. Now, back to this. First of all, we're going to compare it with, as I said, with the Entropy, the Firebox, and the LexCorp suit. Though, something to consider is that none of those artifacts mentioned previously could have gotten me a win while taking a shit with a spacebar press, so that's definitely something to be mindful of. Now, comparing this to the Firebox, uh, in terms of raw shielding and raw survivability, this is far better than Firebox. Because from level 1, I feel like the healing is going to be better than, let's say, the Firebox at level 5. And the Firebox heal is going to trigger only 3 times in a fight, and um, only while you're low at health. This one triggers after you block an ability. Though, to be fair, the Firebox heal is also going to remove debuff, so that's something. But overall, in terms of the defensive capabilities, I'm going to uh, give uh, the win to this one. But when it comes to the Firebox, there's some very important thing that is to keep in mind. The Teleport Attack. The Teleport Attack will allow you to dodge some damage. The Teleport Attack will allow you to gap close some combos and, and deal more damage that way, with your combo builder having a more fluent gameplay, or with your damage they're using the Firebox. Firebox. So I don't know if overall this is a better artifact than the Firebox, most likely not, but purely as a defensive artifact, I feel like this has far better defensive capabilities than Firebox. Of course, if you don't keep into account spamming infinite combo with Firebox the entire fight, but that's up to you. Now the Entropy. The Entropy kind of uh, covers the only weakness that this artifact has. And the only weakness that this artifact has is very strong super moves. Because I don't think there's any ability in the game that can one-shot a character while blocking if your character is decently built. But there's some super moves in the game that can one-shot a character because uh, you can't block a super move. And the entropy kind of covers for that. And in that regard, the entropy is far better. The entropy is obviously far better at fighting Darkseid in Dawn of Apocalypse because it doesn't allow him to one-shot you with the super move. But other than that, I feel this is a far safer artifact and it's an artifact that will uh, give you uh, the benefit on the long run. Like, in theory, this could endlessly heal you. The use of entropy stops when your health stops because it's not healing you, it's just preventing uh, too much damage to slip in. But yeah, entropy gives you better protection against getting one-shotted, but I feel like this is overall the better artifact in terms of defensive capability. Now, when it comes to the Lex or Portsuit, it's a little bit weird. Yet again, the, the huge advantage of uh, the Trigon Power Staff is going to be the fact that it actually heals you. So this way you can get endless value from it. The Lex Corp Power Suit, uh, what it does is provide you with uh, some uh, raw health. So that's, and I think this is the highest amount of passive health provided by any artifact in percentages out of all the artifacts we got. And at the same time, after you use a special tree, it's going to uh, provide you with a defensive shield if the special hits. And uh, yes, it also has armor pierce on uh, the special tree for uh, characters with a chance to do it, and that's a great thing. So yet again, overall, I'm not sure if this is better than LexCorp. Maybe not, but strictly as a defensive artifact, it really depends. For example, LexCorp can do far better than this against uh, Black Manta and... Um, Against stuff that pretty much uh, craps on uh, the Trigon staff, because uh, this thing has the possibility to remove the debuff. So Black Manta inflicts you with bleed, you remove it. Uh, uh, you remove it with the Lex Corp. With Trigon uh, staff, if you get inflicted with uh, some uh, debuff that doesn't allow you to heal, you're not gonna heal. But overall, yet again, in terms of sustainability and overall value, I would I would go with this as a defensive artifact. But as an overall artifact, I would still go with Lex Corp. So, Trigon Power Staff is most likely the best art defensive artifact in the game. Actually, no. Let's, let's just call it the best artifact in the game. But it's just that. 
Other than the defensive capabilities that it offers, and don't get me wrong, they are amazing, it offers you nothing. Well, except for the passive bonuses of the swords, which is a reason that why you should by default upgrade it, because it's, are the, those are the highest bonuses, and you're going to eventually have a maxed out Dragon Staff, ideally. But yeah, other than the defensive bonuses, doesn't provide you with anything, and they're amazing defensive bonuses, but the problem is, we're playing in just 2 mobile. Where the best mods are raising swords in there, you don't pretty much give a crap about defensive artifacts. If tomorrow they would release a survival mode in Ingestion Mobile with very good rewards, then Trigon Power Staff would be the best artifact in the game, maybe. Or at the very least for that mod. But it's not the case. Where this really shines and where this, uh, this is really needed is uh, Arena and Champions Arena. And over there, you don't really need that much help. You're gonna be fine. And when it comes to raising soul rates, if, of course you're going to upgrade this. It has high uh, advent of chaos bonuses and yeah that's pretty much it with the dragon power stuff the best are the best defensive artifact in the game the only downside is that we don't really need defensive artifacts in the game but yeah a lot being said this was it for this one thank you so much for watching please do like comment subscribe and share if you enjoyed this dislike if you dislike it maybe hit that bell button and i'll see you all in the next one goodbye